Ten Suda Season 2 Complete Recap. Let's get into it. The season begins with Rimuru entrusting the children to a new teacher, Tis. He then returns to Tempest and plans to establish diplomatic relations with the kingdom of Eurozania, Carrion's nation, by exchanging delegates. Eurozania sends the Biscuiteers. After testing each other's strength, the negotiations are successful and both countries share technologies and establish trade routes. Later, Rimuru visits Gazelle in Dwargon, unaware that Clayman is preparing another scheme against him by blackmailing Mulan. Rimuru updates Gazelle on his achievements, and they make their alliance official. Later, Rimuru and the squad take a secret trip to heaven, just to get scolded. Elsewhere, Mulan shows off her strength for Yom. Rimuru gives his last lesson to the children, and Yom returns to Tempest with Mulan, unaware that she is spying for Clayman. Meanwhile, the leaders of the Kingdom of Thalmuth see Tempest as a threat to their power and make preparations to invade it by using their summoned otherworlders as weapons. With Rimuru away from Tempest, news spreads about Milim's plan to attack Eurozania. As the otherworlders infiltrate, Clayman forces Mulan to summon an anti-magic barrier within Tempest, and the Falmuthians create another barrier that traps everyone inside. The Falmuth forces then invade the country and begin their genocide. On his way back home, Rimuru is ambushed by Hinata Sakaguchi, one of Shizu's students, who has orders to kill him. Rimuru survives his fight with Hinata by tricking her with a clone and returns to Tempest, just to find it in ruin with many casualties. He learns that the Falmouth forces will return in a week and that Shion and Gobzo have been killed. Eren tells Rimuru that he may be able to resurrect his fallen companions by becoming a demon lord, as their souls are still trapped in the city by the barriers. He then frees Mulan from Clayman's control by replacing her heart and asks Yom to become the new king of Falmouth after he wipes them out. Later, at a meeting, Rimuru reveals his past as a human and vows to bring peace between all kingdoms. He plans to take on the Falmouth forces himself, as he needs 10,000 human souls to become a demon lord. The rest of Tempest will focus on taking down the barrier. The day of the battle arrives and the four devices creating the barrier are destroyed. Two of the other worlders are killed, but the last one was saved by a powerful mage. The mage, Razen, then kills him and possesses his body. Shortly after, Rimuru pulls up and wipes out the entire Falmouth army using Megiddo, absorbing their souls and completing his evolution into a demon lord. He gains a ton of buffs and revives Shion and the rest of the dead. His awakening also summoned a primordial demon, who vows to serve him. After recovering from his transformation, Rimuru learns that Eurozania was destroyed and Carrion was defeated by Milim and the demon lord Frey, though all the citizens had evacuated to Tempest. It seems that Clayman was behind the attack. Rimuru then names the primordial demon Diablo and revives Veldra into a new body. Rimuru now has four ultimate skills, Raphael, Veldra, Belzebub, and Uriel. They return to Tempest and have a huge celebration. Afterwards, Rimuru meets Elalud, Eren's father and the Archduke of Thalion, the Elven nation. Elsewhere, it is discovered that the demon lord Valentine is the leader of the Western Holy Church and that Yuki is the mastermind behind all the recent trouble. Clayman and the moderate Harley Quinn alliance are all working for him, and his true intentions are not known. The representatives of Tempest and their allied nations hold a meeting, where they decide to keep Tempest neutral by lying that Veldra awoke in response to Falmouth's invasion, wiping them out, and then was tamed by Rimuru. They also decide to start a civil war within Falmouth to allow Yom to seize power and become their king. Then, the nation of Thalion officially enters diplomatic relations with Tempest, and the meeting ends. Meanwhile, Clayman speaks of his plan to invade Eurozania to gather souls for his awakening, and Laplace advises him to wait for Walpurgis. Ramaris explains that Walpurgis is a demon lord's banquet, which starts in three days. It is an event where they gather and discuss urgent matters, with Rimuru and his new powers being the main topic of discussion. Later, Sowei reports that Clayman's army is gathering in Milim's territory, with Yamza, Clayman's strongest subordinate, leading the army. Rimuru realizes they are going to massacre Eurozania. The army plans to do it while the other demon lords are at Walpurgis, so that they won't interfere. To counter this, Rimuru decides to send his army to Eurozania using a special skill he acquired, which allows him to teleport large populations. He then decides to crash Walpurgis with Shion and Ranga. Before the battle, he tries the teleport skill out by transporting all the Eurozanian citizens to Tempest. Rimuru's army then gathers and are teleported to the battlefield. After, Yom and company set off for Falmouth. It is then revealed that Milim is being controlled by Clayman using his marionette skill, thanks to Frey's manipulation. Elsewhere, Leon visits another demon lord, Guy Crimson. They discuss Walpurgis and are wary of Clayman's antics. Valzard, Veldora's older sister, joins them. They are skeptical about Veldora's revival, speculating that it was Rimuru's doing. Leon sees him as a threat to his goals. Rimuru continues with preparations, making Trainee evolve into a dryass doll dryad so she can leave the forest. 
Meanwhile, Benny Maru and his forces run Clayman's army into a trap set by Geld, and the three Bisketeers set off to defeat Clayman's army leaders. Sophia and Gabiru take on Milim's generals, Fobio and Geld take on Footman and Tyr, and Albus fights one on one with Yamza. Albus gets the better of Yamza, and he tries to surrender, but Clayman remotely forces him to swallow a piece of Karibdis, turning him into a weaker version. Benny Maru then deletes him instantly. After, Tempest makes peace with the Dragon Faithful, Milim's people, and ends the fighting. Elsewhere, Fobio and Geld are defeated by the clowns, but their lives are spared. Rimuru heads to Walpurgis, and Shuna, Hakuro, and Sowei journey to Clayman's domain. They encounter an army of undead led by Adalman, one of Clayman's subordinates. Shuna uses her magic to isolate him for a 1v1. Her superior magic purifies the land, breaking the binding curse former demon lord Kazarim had put on Adalman. Being freed, Adalman pledges his and the undead army's loyalty to Rimuru. At Walpurgis, Rimuru meets Guy, Dagrel, Roy, Dino, Frey, Leon, and Clayman. Clayman presents his false story of how Carrion violated the Demon Lord's pact by instigating Falmuth's attack and encouraging Rimuru to become a Demon Lord, all with the end goal of killing him. He bluffs that Milim and Frey only helped punish Carrion for his actions and calls for the destruction of Rimuru. Rimuru calls him out on all the lies, revealing that Mulan is still alive as a witness and showing evidence of Clayman being behind the manipulation. As the head of council, Guy tells him to fight it out. Clayman has Milim fight with his subordinates, leaving Rimuru's side unbalanced, but Beretta joins the fight on Ramiris' behalf. Right before Milim can punch Rimuru, Veldora suddenly appears and takes the hit. Turns out Veldora came to pester Rimuru for more manga. Rimuru has him keep Milim at bay while he checks on the others. Beretta takes out the puppet Clayman summoned, while Rimuru frees the fox demon that was under Clayman's control. Clayman powers up and is folded by Shion, admitting to his crimes. Carrion then reveals he is still alive, and Milim reveals that she was never mind controlled and was faking it all along. In utter despair, Clayman begs for power, undergoing a pseudo awakening, which was Rimuru's doing. He used Raphael to awaken Clayman, planning to defeat him and prove his strength to the other demon lords. Rimuru body bags Clayman and consumes him easily. After, thanks to Veldora, Roy is revealed to be a stand in for the true demon lord, Luminous Valentine, possibly the god of the Holy Church, Lord Luminous. Rimuru then learns that the moderate Harley Quinn alliance works for the former demon lord Kazarim, whose body Leon killed to take his spot. They suspect that Kazarim is still alive and trying to reincarnate. Finally, Carrion and Frey give up their seats as demon lords upon seeing they are too weak. They still rule their lands, though they now work for Milim. To end Walpurgis, Rimuru renames the group the Eight Star Demon Lords, Octogram. In the Holy Empire, Laplace tries to sneak in while the Demon Lords are at Walpurgis, but is chased off by Hinata. The stand-in, Roy, confronts Laplace, who learns that Clayman was killed, and promptly tears out Roy's heart, showing his ridiculous strength. The season ends with Rimuru then returning to Tempest and reuniting with his friends. Now with this knowledge, you should be able to fully enjoy Season 3. Enjoy guys! Peace!